Good morning, National Dayers. It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Monday, March 13th. It is the 72nd day of the year. There are 293 days left. Happy National Earmuff Day. National Earmuff Day on March 13th recognizes the creation of the protection that keeps our ears warm. The annual celebration highlights the history of the fun and innovative invention each year. If you live in a cold climate like Chester Greenwood did and had large protruding ears like Chester Greenwood did, you might be thankful for his invention. National Earmuff Day honors the man who found a better way to keep our ears warm all winter long. After a day of ice skating in the cold, 15-year-old Chester came up with an idea to keep his big ears warm. Partnering with his grandmother, who sewed tufts of fur between loops of wire, Chester soon had a working model. Farmington, Maine, where Chester is from, is now the earmuff capital of the world. On March 13, 1877, he was awarded a patent for his new creation. It was one of many that he would earn. Today is also National Coconut Tort Day, National Good Samaritan Day, National Napping Day, and National Open an Umbrella Indoors Day. All right, National Dayers, today, of course, we're making earmuffs. Gather the following supplies. You'll need a headband, a pair of fuzzy socks, string, stuffing, I used cotton balls, glue, and scissors. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the end of the sock and save the part that's sewn together at the bottom. It's gonna create the part that covers your ears. So you want about five to six inches of the sock. Then you're gonna stuff the sock ends with your stuffing or your cotton balls. Using the string, tie the tops closed on the socks, but first you're gonna to wanna to insert the end of the headband into the sock before you tie it all the way closed. And then repeat it on the other side. And then you wanna lock it in place with a little bit of glue so the headband can't slide out. Voila, you just made yourself instant earmuffs. You're pretty incredible, did you know that? So National Dayers, there is an important thing that I left out of my to-do list on the earmuff craft, which is measure, because are you ready for this? <laughs> they don't fit my ears. <laughs> Even when we're making mistakes, we're learning stuff, National Dares. But you know who looks super cute in their earmuffs? You know who. Yeah, I do. And I look really cute when I'm eating treats because I'm much happier. Ooh, he is not happy. Okay, all right, all right, let's take the hat off. There, no more earmuffs for you. All right, National Dares, I hope that you try the earmuff craft and maybe you do a little bit better than me and you actually measure your head. <laughs> Keep smiling. Have a marvelous Monday, and Commando and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Shout outs today start us off with Mr. Schultz and everyone in the MSD transition unit at Valley High School in Louisville, Kentucky. Next up is Miss Cass and everyone in the high school program at the Binet School in Louisville, Kentucky. And our third shout out today goes out to Mr. Poor, Mrs. Brown, Mrs. Jones, Ms. Griffin, and Ms. Daniels, and everyone in the K through five impact program at Charles E. Boger Elementary School in Concord, North Carolina. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you loved your shout out. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And here it is, our updated super spectacular shout out map.